This procedure will demonstrate converting a first-generation Toro roller to a third-generation Toro roller. This older version is equipped with a rotor and stator type seal. These were used on greens mowers and triplexes in early model machines. What you may want to consider is converting it over to the third generation type bearing setup. You'll begin by removing the shaft. Use a normal setup on the tamer with the left hand bracket about an inch from the very end of the frame. With a 2 inch or 2 and 1 16 tapered insert, either one will work, and use the same thing on the other end. This is the capture method. To remove this seal without damaging the shaft, use this special puller, part number RT170. This will give you the option to reuse the shaft and original parts. If you choose not to reuse the shaft and want to convert to a third generation, then you can hammer the shaft out. The roller is mounted so the special puller can be attached to this seal. Place the puller against the seal, mark the three holes on the seal, then drill the holes. You will need to drill the holes about the same size as the shank of the screw or a little smaller. This is a number six three quarter length sheet metal screw, so we'll use a 7 64th drill bit, which is a little smaller than the shank of that screw. When you're drilling the holes, you might notice there are at least two metal layers or maybe three that you'll drill through. Keep drilling until you go at least a half inch into the seal. You wanna go as deep as you can so the screws will fit securely. After attaching the puller to the seal, thread the 3 8 to 5 8 adapter, part number RT155, to the end of the puller. This adapter is included with the Model B Tamer or can be purchased separately. Slide the bridge into place and lock it. Thread the jacking screw into the adapter, drop in the standoff, then pull out the seal by simply tightening the jacking screw. We'll remove the standoff here so you can see a little better in this instructional video. Swap ends with the roller and repeat the same procedure. With both seals removed, next will be to remove the C-clip from each end. Now you can remove the shaft and the bearing at the same time using the same adapter, RT-155. If the bearing comes apart and leaves the outer race inside, use the one and a quarter to one and a half puller collet, part number RT-152, which comes standard with the Model A, to remove that outer bearing race. The shaft has been removed without damaging it, so you have the option to reuse the shaft and just replace the bearings and seal, or again, you may want to convert these first generation Toro rollers over to the third gen by installing the third generation shaft and bearing and seal kit. The shaft part number is 106-6940. The seal and bearing kit is part number 107-1594. Both are available from Turf Pride. The procedure to install third generation type shaft and bearing seal kits can be found on the video entitled New Style or Third Generation Toro Roller. All of the roller tamer tools used in this demonstration are available from Turf Pride. Seal and bearing kits for all makes and models of rollers, as well as reel units, are also available from Turf Pride.